Hi everyone, this is Pedro here. Uh, today I'm gonna go through a workout, short workout, half an hour, 20 minutes, focus on the legs. Uh, later on we'll do another workout for the upper body. So they'll be separated, you can either do them one after the other, or if one day you only feel like doing the legs, or the other day you can only do the upper body, so you can choose. <clears throat> For the legs, we will need a chair for support. Um, later on, if you have a mat, great. Otherwise, just a towel on the floor, maybe on the carpet, wherever is more comfortable. Then we'll move on to the floor. We'll start by the next to the chair, just warming up the hips. One hand on the chair, and then the other hip. We're just gonna lift the knee up, and then to the side, and down. Just this. I'm going to repeat it for a couple of times. Just trying to bring the knee all the way up and making the hip move in the socket. Trying to create some lotion on the joint. Last two times, all the way up, and down, up, and down, the last one. Good. I'll do the other side, you can turn around, I'll just put this chair on this side so you can see me. Again, standing straight and tall, belly button is in, just bring the knee in, half a circle, all the way up, and down. Turning the leg in, turning the leg out. Couple more times. Last one, all the way up, and down, up, and down, great. <clears throat> now we're going to engage the muscles of the leg on all its directions. So in the front, to the side, and then the hamstrings in the back. Small sequence. Just going to lift eight times in each direction. First, to the front and up, one. Just the knee, two, touch the floor and go, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bending the knees down, one, two, three, four, last one. And then to the side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, legs parallel, squatting, down and up, one, just till halfway, two, three, and four, hamstrings, bending the knee up, behind you, as high as you can, stretch the knee up, down, and up, two, three, you should feel it in the back of the leg, four, five, six, seven, very simple but very effective. Eight. And again, legs parallel. Four times, squatting. One, breaking from the hips. Two, lower back is straight. Three. And four. And other leg, other side. 
Change here so you can see me. Starting with the hip flexors. Left leg, knee up. One. And up. Two. Three. Try to bring the knee parallel to your belly button. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Squatting. To the back. And up. One. Two. Three. Last one. Four. Standing straight. Leg to the side. Kicking up. One. Two. Stomach in. Three. Engaging the glute. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Four times. Squat. In between. Little break. And up. One. Two. Three. Last one. Four hamstrings, so you can see me. Knee goes bending up. One. Control it all the way down. Two. Three. Four. Contracting behind the leg. Five. Six. Seven, last one, eight, and relax, good. Placing the chair in front of you, standing tall and straight, just going to focus on the ankles and the calves, going all the way up to your toes, and down for 20, one, two, three, only on the tip of your fingers on the chair, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, all the way up to your toes, three, two, one, stepping away from the chair, Hands behind the head. I imagine someone is pulling your shorts to the back, so your hips break. Knees stay above your ankles. Lower back is straight. Hamstrings are contracting. And up. Just this. Straight forward. And up. Two. Stomach in. Lower back is neutral. Hips to the back. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Back to the chair. Again, 20. Calf raises. Up. One. Two. Control it all the way down. Touch the floor and go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, if you want, without hands, nine, eight, more challenging for the balance, six, five, four, three, two, one, and again, step it to the back. I'll show you a little bit more forward. Again, fingers behind the head. Back is straight. Breaking from the hips. That's the only movement. No knees, nothing else. Just hips and up. One. Two. Notice that my knees are not traveling forward. They don't move. Only the hips to the back. Three. Last two. Four, straight back, last.
last one. And up. And relax. Good. We're going to alternate squats on the chair and lunges behind the chair. Small sequence. We're going to go what we call a ladder. Starting from six repetitions and then repeating all the way down to one. Starting with six squats, we're going to use the chair as a reference. So you always do the same movement. Chest is up. Arms in front of the chest. Sitting behind, on the chair. Touch. And up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Last one. Six. Behind the chair. Lunge position, right leg in the front, six repetitions, down and up, one, two, three, four, five, last one, six, other side, left leg, six repetitions, down, one, make sure your knee stays above your ankle. And up, two, three, four, five, six. Good, I'm gonna repeat everything. Five repetitions, starting on the squats. See if you can see me a little bit more. This way. Six times, uh, five times, chest up, down and up, one, sit and stand up, two, three, long neck, four, last one, five, and again, lunges, right leg to the front. I'll do it on the side so you can see it. Make sure the knee doesn't travel forward. Going down. One. Upper body leaning over the leg. Back leg is relaxed. Three. Four. Five. On the side. Five. Four. Three, use that chair. Four, and five. Good. And again, starting with the squats. Four repetitions. Chest up. We're going to go a little bit faster. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. And again, lunges. Four repetitions, straight back. Notice, back leg always on your toes. Down one, two, three, four. Other side, left leg. Back leg is relaxed, leaning forward. Pressing up. From the leg, toes are up. Press with your heel, push the floor away from you. Last one, four, good, squats for three, hands on the chest, chest up, all the way down, one, two, three, and then three, for lunges, three, two, Push the floor away from you with your heel. Three. Other side. Down. One. Lower back is straight. Two. Back leg is relaxed. Three. And again, squat. Only two repetitions. Down. Touch to the chair and up. One. 
two lunges just two repetitions down one two other side straight back down and up one two and last one just one repetition down and up good standing on the side one lunge right leg one other side and one good uh, that was it for the chair we're gonna move on the floor work on the glute bridges this can go on the side Start with two legs and then move on to single. Starting with five, five repetitions with the toes up. We're gonna press down with the heels, hips go up, squeeze in the glutes, and then all the way down. The further your feet go away from your pelvis, the harder and the more you'll feel the hamstring. So try different variations every day. Some days a little bit closer, some days a little bit further away. I'm gonna go five repetitions. Two legs together, after five, one leg in the air, four repetitions with one leg. Four, and then four on the other side. When you do with single legs, try to maintain the pelvis aligned and not crooked. You have to squeeze that glute on the side, keep the pelvis aligned. You're gonna button this in, Make sure the ribs are not sticking out. Stomach is engaged. We're gonna go five, four, and four. Toes up, pressing into the floor. Hips go up, one. Touch, and go up, two. Three. Four, last one. Five. Only with the right leg, left leg in the air, pressing up, one, two, three, four, other side, hips aligned, both go up together, one, two, three, four, all the way down, again, from the top, two legs, up, one, two, three, four, stomach is flat, up, five, and right leg pressing up, one, two, three, four, other side, right leg up, one, Two, three, four, and relax all the way down, stretching the legs. Gonna repeat one last time. Last one. Five repetitions. Legs together. Up one, two, three, four, and five. And left leg in the air, push the floor away from you, with your heel, up, two, three, last one, four, last, last time, right leg in the air, pressing up, one, two, three, four, and relax, stretch the legs, stretch your arms. Give yourself a hug, knees to the chest, and rocking side to side. All right, last exercise, circles with the legs, one is down, one is up, fully stretched, you're going to drop the leg to the side, 
forward and down and back to the center four times making sure your pelvis is straight two three and four and reverse first forward and down sideways and then back to the center one two three last one four and other side four and four first to the outside center and down and up one try to feel your core supporting the hips two three make sure the other leg is not wobbling around and four and reverse forward and down sideways back to the center engaging the inner muscles of the leg especially here back up two three last one Okay, slowly turning on our side and go for the child's pose. Good stretch for your hips on all fours, hips to the back, folding the knees, folding the hips. From here, I'm gonna go up, bouncing, bouncing, and then to the back. Just this one, two. Try each time to fall even further. One, two. Breathing in, breathing out. Last one. Breathing out and hold it here. 30 seconds. Relax. Slowly up. Last stretch, right leg up. Gonna stretch the hip flexors, standing straight, leaning forward with the hip, making sure your lower back is neutral. I'm not arching. Core is engaged, belly button is in, and I'm aiming diagonally down and forward. Slowly back. Other side, other side. Left leg forward, standing straight. Double tuck knee, ribs down, and now shift the weight forward. Slowly up. Two hands on the floor, feet under you, and slowly rolling up the bed. Take your time. All right, that was it for the legs. Next time we're going to focus on the upper. Thank you.